the S-400 is unanimously stated to be one of the most capable surface-to-air missile systems in the world. So how would the U.S. beat it? First and most important, in a scenario in which F-35 goes up against one S-400 is unrealistic. An actual showdown would include up to a dozen aircraft versus long-range, medium-range, and short-range SAMs, surface-to-air missiles, and possibly even interceptor aircraft. Any realistic discussion on the topic would need to consider all these facts as well. Modern surface-to-air missile sites are typically combined with other missile sites, multiple radars, command and control posts, and nearby air bases. This combination of systems makes an integrated air defense system very deadly. Numerous SAMs can lay in wait and stay hidden and not turn on their radar, giving away its position. Meanwhile, any other radar on the network can send it targeting information, which can then be used to shoot down the threat without the aircraft even knowing it's there, until it's too late. The best way to defeat a SAM system is to simply avoid it altogether. However, SAMs are typically placed strategically to defend high-value targets that enemies would be likely to attack. There are three ways to eliminate an integrated air defense system. You can destroy the command post. These, although are typically located deeper in the enemy territory and are usually very heavily defended, you can destroy the radars and sensors. Taking out these will blind the system, rendering it useless. Or you can destroy each of the weapon systems. However, there are typically several launchers, making it more difficult. Flying straight against the S-400 would be suicide. There are numerous tactics used to defeat air defense networks. There are anti-radiation missiles, which hone in on radars, rendering the site blind. There is radar jamming, the use of decoys which appear on the radar screen as aircraft to confuse and saturate the SAM. Using UAVs, which can operate more aggressively without the risk of losing a pilot and expensive aircraft. And terrain masking, which is flying close to the ground to avoid radar detection. Russia has a vast integrated air defense system spread across the country with approximately 45 battalions of the new S-400 system, dozens of S-300 systems, and other various shorter range SAMs. The S-400 is a very long range surface to air missile system. It is the latest upgraded to the S-300 missile family, using a new radar and a new missile, the 40N6, which has a range of up to 400 kilometers. A typical S-400 battery will be armed with several different types of missiles to engage a large variety of targets at various distances and altitudes, making it extremely deadly. It's designed specifically to deal with stealth, radar jamming, and low-flying threats. The longer-range 40N6 missile is designed to shoot down higher-altitude aircraft with lower maneuverability. Like the E-3 Sentry, AWACS, the E-8 Joint Stars, Surveillance Target Attack Radar System, and the RC-135, Revert Joint. It will be difficult for this missile to be able to destroy a more agile fighter aircraft, even less likely for a stealth aircraft from such a distance. The job falls to the 9M96 and the 48N6 missiles. They have a range of 100 to 200 kilometers, or 62 to 124 miles, and are extremely maneuverable. The 9M96 missile, for example, can sustain a 20G turn and is able to engage aircraft and cruise missiles, as low as only 5 meters, 16 feet above the ground. The F-35 does not currently have any dedicated radar jamming capability and cannot carry anti-radiation missiles. An upgraded version of the anti-radiation missile and the miniature air launch decoy, which is the radar jamming version of the miniature air launch decoy, are planned to be designed to fit in the F-35 by the mid-2020s. For now, the F-35's only stand, off-range missiles, are the Joint Standoff Weapon and the Small Diameter Bomb, or SDB. Both are glide bombs, meaning that their range depends on the altitude at which the aircraft is flying. If the F-35 flies at an altitude of 10,000 meters, it can launch these missiles at a range of about 100 to 125 kilometers, or 62 to 77 miles. The SDB is great because it is small, therefore more can be carried. A single F-35 can carry eight SDBs compared to only one two-joint standoff weapon. The F-35 does not have the stealth needed to sneak past undetected, so they will have to attack. An attack on the S-400 would involve up to a dozen aircraft with EA-18 growlers armed with jamming pods and anti-radiation missiles and F-35s armed with SDBs and decoys. They would fly in low under the radar to avoid detection for as long as possible, 
the decoys would be fired in an attempt to get the enemy's radar to turn on and give away their position. These radar sites would then be attacked with SDBs from the F-35s and anti-radiation missiles from the EA-18s. This scenario would likely result in the destruction of the air defense sites, but would undoubtedly come at a high cost. Flying low to the ground will reduce detection time, but this means the F-35s will need to get in close to launch their bombs. This puts the aircraft well within the range of the formidable S-400 and vulnerable to smaller, shorter-range SAMs. The U.S. could expect to lose several aircraft in such an engagement. These losses might not be acceptable to commanders in terms of loss of human life and equipment. Therefore, they might not go through with such a strike. A different scenario could involve launching Tomahawk cruise missiles at the site, therefore not risking losing pilots and expensive aircraft. The missile would fly in very low to the ground again to avoid detection for as long as possible. However, once detected, the S-400 battalion could expect to shoot down a large number of the relatively slow-flying Tomahawks. Therefore, ensuring destruction of an S-400 system would require dozens of missiles. Either way, eliminating the S-400 site is possible, but will undoubtedly come at a great cost, which is the purpose of air defense, to try to stop but also try to dissuade an enemy from attacking in the first place.